So your go-to method when simplifying rational functions involving algebra is usually to factorize if you can't spot it directly. So, for example, with number one, first thing that I would think of doing is just factorizing the numerator and denominator. So we would have x being brought out of a bracket of x plus 6, and 2 being brought out of a bracket of x plus 6. And clearly, we now have a common factor in the numerator and denominator that can cancel. And so I'm left with just x over 2. For number 2, I'm going to do a similar idea. Bring the x out of the numerator to have 3x minus 1. Now the denominator, 9x squared minus 1, is the difference of two squares. So that could be written as 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 1. So we have a common factor in the numerator and in the denominator. And so we're left with x over 3x plus 1. Number 3, we have two quadratic of two quadratics, uh, numerator and denominator. So we're going to try and factorise them both. So we're going to have x plus 4 times x plus 5 in the numerator, and x plus 5, x plus 6 in the denominator. So clearly we have a common factor of x plus 5. So we just have x plus 4 over x plus 6, and that's as far as I can go. Number 4, similar idea. So in the numerator, what we would have? 8 and minus 3, so x plus 8, x minus 3. We can pull x out and have x squared minus 9. Okay. Now the x squared minus 9, that's the difference of two squares. So I could write that as x minus 3 times x plus 3. So I have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator of x minus 3. So that's x plus 8 over x lots of x plus 3. And I would leave it like that. Now number 2, we have a multiplication of two algebraic fractions. So we're going to want to factorise as much as we can. So, actually I think I'll give myself a little bit more space. So let's get rid of these. OK. So what have I got? I've got 4x squared minus 9. That's the difference of two squares. So that's 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. In the denominator, we've got 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. OK. Now, Depending on how confident you feel with factorising, um, if we do it down here, so 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. So 2 times 15 is 30. So two numbers that multiply together to make 30, but add together to make the 13. OK. Well, that would be 10 and 3. So that's 2x squared plus 10x plus 3x plus 15. So um, we can then factorise both halves. So we'd have 2x, x plus 5, plus 3 lots of x plus 5. And so we're going to have 2x plus 3 and x plus 5. So 2x plus 3 and x plus 5. OK. So that's that one. We've then got the x squared minus 25. So that's x plus 5 times x minus 5, difference of two squares. OK. And then 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Two numbers that multiply together make 6, but add together to make minus 5 would be um, minus 2 and minus 3. So 2x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 3. Then we can factorise the two halves. So 2x x minus 1. 
uh, we can pull the th minus 3 out. So then we'd have x minus 1 there. Because we need to have the same bracket, same factor. So it's 2x minus 3 times x minus 1. So now that I've factorised everything, now I've got that far, I can now start cancelling. Because when I have one fraction multiplied by another, remember that actually this is the, just the numerators uh, multiplied together and the denominators multiplied together. So this is 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3, x plus 5 x minus 5. This is just one big fraction. So the fact that there is a multiplication between it isn't going to really make that much difference. So now I'm looking for common factors. Well, they both have, the numerator and the denominator, both have a 2x minus 3, so they can get cancelled. There is a 2x plus 3 that can also be cancelled. There's an x plus 5 that can also be cancelled. So I'm left with x minus 5 over x minus 1. So this thing here, number 5, simplifies just x minus 5 over x minus 1. So finally, let's have a look at number 6. Now, similar idea here, OK? So I want to factorise all four pieces. So first of all, 9x squared minus 4 is the difference of two squares. So that's 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. We've got 2x squared minus 4x minus 70. So two lots of minus 70 is minus 140. So we want two numbers that multiply to make minus 140, but add together to make minus 4. Oh, what would that be? Uh, 10, uh, minus 14 and 10. OK, so 2x squared minus 14x plus 10x minus 70. Factorise both halves. So 2x, x minus 7 plus 10, lots of x minus 7. So we've got 2x plus 10 and x minus 7. So 2x plus 10 and x minus 7. Now notice how 2x plus 10 has a factor of 2. That might come into play later. Okay? So we'll keep an eye on that. We might, be able to have, we might have to pull that out as well, factor that in, or factor that out, however you want to see it. So then we've got 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. So we've got a division of fractions here. So 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. So we do the 6 times the 2 is 12. Two numbers that multiply together make 12, but add together to make minus 7 um, is minus 4 and minus 3. So we've got 6x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 2. So pull uh, 2x out to make 3x minus 2. And we can pull a factor of minus 1 out to make 3x uh, minus 2 as well. Those two brackets have to be the same. So we've got 2x minus 1 and 3x minus 2. OK. So finally, we've got... 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. Two numbers that multiply to make minus 10 but add together to make 9 uh, would be... Brain's gone blank. Um, you're probably shouting it at me at this moment. Um, 10 and minus 1. I got there in the end. OK, right. It's all about factorising, you see. Kind of, uh, it's a bit too much. So, 2x squared plus 10x minus 1x, take away 5. So, we're going to factorise both halves. So, we're going to have 2x, uh, x plus 5, and take 1 out, till so minus 1 out. So, we've got x plus 5 there as well. 
So we're going to have 2x minus 1 and x plus 5. Okay, so now when you divide uh, two fractions, one fraction by another, or when you're dividing by a fraction rather, it is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is the same as 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 10, x minus 7 times the reciprocal. So 2x minus 1, x plus 5 over 2x minus 1, 3x minus 2. So I can write all of that as one big fraction because we're multiplying the fractions together. Like so. OK, so now we're into cancelling. So I can see I've got 2x minus 1 in the numerator and denominator, so they can go. We've got a 3x minus 2 and a 3x minus 2 down there, so they can go. Now that 2x plus 10 is the same. Remember, I thought about potentially bringing out the 2 at that point. So you can factor the 2 out and have it as two lots of x plus 5. So we now have an x plus 5 in the denominator and in the numerator, so they can cancel. So we're left with 3x plus 2 over two lots of x minus 7. And that is number 6, fully simplified.